Okay, so we're going to discuss skin tone today. There are a lot of misconceptions when, when it comes to skin tones. Most of them have um, this idea of using this vector scope and just um, showing this um, this line and just hitting that line will give you the best skin tone for that um, certain shot or in every shot well um, I think that it's not the case in, in most films because right now um, I've downloaded a lot of um, steals from Hollywood films um, that will prove to you that you don't need to follow this every time but if you do um, you really have the right skin tone if for example it's a daylight and um, everything is looking natural this is the natural skin tone but most of the time you'll have different um, create creative grading that you're going to make in your image and uh, following this um, skin tone here will just make your um, creativity limited just for example here in the dune dune this dune clip here um, they have this very pale skin tone that when I um, do this I just select select her you can see in the vector scope how it's it's going here okay it's, it's very desaturated that's why you cannot see it but it, if you saturate this skin tone right here you're going to see that it's, it's going in this way in this direction and it's not landing in the perfect skin tone line but it's okay because um, it's part of the creative process of the director or the cinematographer who decided this look okay and then let's go to let's go and um, study different clips okay this is another one from Dune I, I'm really a big fan of the tune also the skin tone is right here it's maintaining the skin tone that we have in the first place okay how about this one this one has um, the perfect skin tone uh, they landed it here because this is a natural look so they're going for a, maybe a warmer natural look that's why you can see that it's here but it's way up here it's it means it's very saturated and now this one let's go to the skin tone now it's more saturated and it's almost going to the red part of the image you can see his face is very red it's because it's affected by the lighting here in the um, um, in the what do you call this the club maybe uh, I don't know a bar so oh, let's try what if we change his skin tone to um, to look normal we can do that so let's just go to the opposite and then also the bright parts let's do that here okay so i'm seeing lots of greens let's move those greens here okay something like that maybe okay let's try <laughs> okay so sorry it doesn't blend with the um the, the location maybe if this was on another scene let's let's see let's add more life to him just a bit look normal looking let's remove those greens okay let's yeah just make him look a bit alive okay so if you're going to see this it's like it's normal already okay because 
we 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 normally see your skin tones like this but in this situa situation he doesn't blend okay he doesn't need to have that perfect skin tone if you can see he is landing in the perfect um skin tone oh, what do you call that indicator okay he's landing perfectly and the saturation is perfect as well it's not too saturated but the creative grading that was made here doesn't ask for this skin tone but it's asking for this skin tone because it's the one that will make it blend with the image and make it more look more natural so thinking that we should always land on uh, the perfect skin tone indicator is um i think it's it's not um applicable to every scene okay so in this uh scenario he um he still landed there he still landed in the perfect skin tone so you might think that it's only um be, be, saturate him because it's just desaturated okay what about in this example okay in this example when we select the skin tone of this girl here we can see that it's way outside okay it's almost going to the purple to the purple quadrant it's a bit desaturated but it's all already going to the purple quadrant so even though you saturate and desaturate this it will still go there in the in that quadrant so i think that it's really part of the creative process that that's why they decided to to put that skin tone there i think it will be awkward if you make it have that um warm skin tone let's say for example we warm it up let's try to create some good um selection here it's the noise and then let's remove the dark parts Okay, maybe like that okay and then let's fix it let's remove the purple let's make it orange let's make it make her go in this direction so that she'll have that perfect skin tone okay so now judging by the image i think it's a good skin tone okay so it's okay but it, it doesn't feel like she's a part of the um the world where they are so it feels like it's a backdrop now it's it's like you know that one when you edit somebody in photoshop and then you just place them in, into that um background it feels like that now so the creative director of this decided that they want to have this skin tone so that she will blend in this world okay so yeah i think um deciding on what skin tone you should have in every um in every scene is the first thing you will consider is it the does the subject blends with the background does it feel natural looking at that subject with that type of skin tone because if it's not i think you should not uh, let go of the idea of having that perfect skin tone okay so so let about let's try this okay i wait let's try this okay where is it i think yeah it's perfect so natural looks and bit, just a bit desaturated i think yeah you, it's good to use that perfect skin tone also this perfect skin tone 
perfect skin tone only just saturated and going to the orange side so but still it's almost um, natural okay how about this one almost perfect skin tone as well so most of the time you you see those perfect skin tone that lands there but there are situation where you you have consider you have to consider the lighting and the um the mood where they are for example here in this situation it's the lighting that's affecting her his skin but if you can see here it's um the perfect skin tone but in this part it's the lighting so it's okay if you have some purple in his face but sometimes you'll you'll feel like um it's uh if you, you if you just graded it by yourself you'll you'll feel like i don't like the lighting here it feels uh, I, because the purple is coming to his face and making his face purple it's okay it's okay because the location is purple so the it's natural to have those um, purple uh, highlights in your skin tones so don't worry about that especially if you're um, color grading events and films in your um, for your production company so if you have no choice and you have to film in a um, certain lighting condition for example the place is very purple it's okay accept that you don't have to fix all the skin tones unless you really have to and I, so I suggest use your own light or ask them to turn off the light when you're going to shoot because even if you fix those skin tones it will not feel natural that they are part of that world okay so let's check more of those skin tones and um, this one is uh, almost going to the um, yellow side if you can see it's yellow and a bit I can see some greens already these are those desaturated greens so yeah not, not that perfect as well but here I think this is perfect yes it is perfect warm oh no it's not perfect so I was fooled by the surroundings where she is in because if you, you study um, colors you will know that the effect of the adjacent um, colors or the colors around a certain color have great effect on your on the color you're looking at I, I think that needs to have its own separate video so let's just focus on this first so because of the background I I thought she was having a, a perfect skin tone but apparently she she's not she's having this more orange saturated saturated orange um, skin tone here Okay, I think this is perfect as well. Yes, it is. Only that they it's having this reddish. I think this is the lips maybe. She's not blushing in any way. Okay, so this is. I think this is Fight Fight Club. I don't. I forgot. I don't know what clip is this. Anyway, so um, as you can see, it's nowhere near perfect. In fact, it's going to the green, yellow green. Um, here, it's going to this yellowish green color. So, yeah, doesn't need to have that perfect skin tone. Also, because of the nature of the um, shot, and I think it's uh, it's trying to have that analogous um, color palette so whatever the reason is it's also an, another creative decision of the director I mean the cinematographer so this one has perfect this one has I think it's a bit yellow but this saturated yellow so not, not perfect this one mm, desaturated I, I think it's white but it's, 
Uh, this one is an example of they have different um, skin tones, right? But the vector scope shows you that they are here. So the skin tone is greatly affected by the grading and the creative process because if you're, you're going for a natural look they they are they went here only a bit um go, going to the red because of um it's trying to do that complementary color of still an orange so yeah um this one isn't yeah it's in fact it's here you saturated going to the almost to the blue blue green color so yeah it's okay it's, it doesn't have to be perfect because that's the situation here so i think um i made a point so it's um very subjective to have that perfect skin tone in most of your portrait videos i suggest you have those perfect sit perfect skin tones because um they they would want to look perfect and then <laughs> they don't want to look like this but for example you're cre shooting those portrait videos and you're trying to be more creative or have this different lights and you want for example a purple light and a green light to have that um, color um, contrast for your um, portrait video you, you don't want to have that perfect skin tone color you will accept that green and purple on the other side because if you try to um, make the skin tone perfect in that situation I, I don't think it will look any nicer so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.